Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Morse's Go Mobile. If you saw our last video, you know we're just coming off a of New York City high. The city, the incredible friends we stayed with, it was hard to leave. But we have to keep on moving and this time we make a quick stop near Boston where we spent a couple days camping with our new friends that we met in DC, the Spencers. We had some downtime to do some housekeeping on our RV and then we hit up Boston. We made it to Boston. We're gonna do the Freedom Trail today and my truck barely fit in this parking garage. We're down basically almost to the core of the earth on how far we had to go down to find a spot. Thank you for the parking spots, Boston. Let's go see what this Freedom Trail is all about. So the Freedom Trail is a marked trail throughout the city of Boston, and every step tells an important part of the American Revolution story. We bought an audio tour app on our phones, and it guided us. And one of the first stops is a cemetery that's been around since 1660. Here you'll find Paul Revere's gravesite. The British are coming! The British are coming! and other important people too, like John Hancock and Samuel Adams. I don't know why, but Brandon really likes Samuel Adams. Not only did he help organize the American Revolution and sign the Declaration of Independence, but he was very much against slavery. In fact, he was given a slave as a wedding gift, but he set her free right away, and she continued to work for him as a free woman. As you can see, Cohen really liked him too. Another stop is this place where us Americans would say the Boston Massacre occurred. Or was it really just a riot? One of the more significant and impactful stops for us was the Holocaust Memorial. The New England Holocaust Memorial was built to pay tribute to the six million people who were killed and to honor the survivors. Each of the glass towers represents one of the six concentration camps. As you walk through it, you see the six million numbers that represent each person and steam comes up from the grates in the ground to give kind of a chilling reminder of what happened in the gas chambers. During the memorial dedication ceremony, a survivor said it so well. He said, we cannot give evil another chance. Look at these towers as you pass by and try to imagine what they really mean, what they symbolize, what they evoke. They evoke an era of incommensurate darkness, an era in history when civilization lost its humanity and humanity lost its soul. We must look at these towers of memory and say to ourselves, no one should ever deprive a human being of his or her right to dignity. No one should ever deprive anyone of his or her right to be a sovereign human being. No one should ever speak again about racial superiority. Okay, we're rocking the Freedom Trail and I'm pretty sure that people don't make it past the first mile because we're on the only ones on it right now. See the line? See, it goes all the way back there. No one's on it. And Cohen's back here being a vagabond. He's got a cardboard box over his head to block the sun while he takes his nap in the wagon. After we walked our little hearts out, we jumped on the subway to go meet up with my cousin Kelsey who lives in Boston. That's Amber's cousin right there. We just had dinner with her. Her name's I Kelsey. Her diaper. <laughs> She's all good oh, though she, now. No, she changed her diapers when she was a kid. Yeah, not like yeah, yeah. not like yeah. recently. But Kelsey lives in Boston, so we met up and had some dinner with her and it's so good to see some family on the East Coast. A fun fact about Kelsey is that she was a cheerleader for the New England Patriots from 2017 to 2019, which means she was there when they won the Super Bowl. While we were enjoying the evening streets of Boston, we came across this band and we could not stop listening. They've got such a unique sound and vibe. You gotta check out the Q-Tip Bandits. They have a few songs out there. Today is a uh, traveling day. We're leaving where we're at now. And we've been kind of traveling with some friends for the past little bit. Um, we met these guys in DC. We met up for a day in New York. And then we followed them. We switched campgrounds. We followed them to this KOA that we're at right now. But I got to show you their setup. We're, they have this amazing fifth wheel. It's a grand design, solitude. And they've made some slight customizations to their, um, to their rig. I'm going to show you right now. Jaden, show us what this place is all about. Yeah. Because okay. who needs a couch? Who needs a couch when you can put a Peloton? Yeah, when you could have a Peloton, what do we call this? Like quarters? It's Peloton corner. Okay, so, this is such a game changer. Like yeah. if I had it my way, I would put a Peloton in my trailer. Yeah. Moral of the story is when you don't have six people in an RV, there's actually a ton of space in them. <laughs> and this is Brenda. She's making us breakfast. Good morning. And this is her hubby, Eric. 
known as the driver. The, the driver. The driver. And, and, the, and the washing clothes guy, apparently, today. Well, Spencers, you know what they say. It's not goodbye, but hopefully it's see you later. We got to book it up to Maine because we've got some special guests coming up there that we have to meet. Okay, you saw Boston, you saw Maryland, you saw Virginia, you saw New York. We did all those places. Incredible, we had a blast. Well, now we finally made it to Maine. We've been from Idaho to the Florida Keys and all the way up to Maine. And it's beautiful, but that's cool. You'll see all that at some point, but whatever. The cool thing is this. If you remember back to our video where we went to Disney World with our friends, the McCormicks. Remember the McCormicks? They surprised their kids with a trip to Disney World and a trip to come and see us and we had a blast with them. Well, he ended up buying a big old massive fifth wheel. He ended up buying a big old monster uh, diesel truck and they have left Idaho. They left Idaho Monday, it is now Friday. They have been driving like 14 hour days, sleeping in Walmart parking lots, sleeping on the side of the road, you name it, they've done it to try and get here and they're gonna spend the next 20 days with us. And it's gonna be a blast. We're so excited to have our friends. The kids are excited to have their friends. They come in today. David is an absolute savage. The dude just drives hours and hours. Like, I'm not even kidding. They go until 1 to 2 a.m. every night because they're trying to get here. So McCormick's, get here so we can hang. Come on. Yay! Yay! While I was filming that last bit, we had a bit of a catastrophe. Poor little Cohen had an accident, huh, buddy? Yes. Did you have an accident? Yeah, I cut my finger. You cut it, and what? How did you cut it? With what was it? Hold this up. What did you cut it with? Yeah, you were playing with a knife, huh? Yeah. Do so. If there's kids watching the video, what should you tell them about knives? Cutting. You know, we say don't play with knives, huh? Okay. Yeah. If you are watching, do not play with knives because they actually in fact are created and manufactured and designed to cut things and if your finger gets in the way what will it do to your finger pinch no it won't pinch it it'll cut it and here he is still playing with this okay let me see your finger let me kiss it Hello. oh hey Hi. oh my gosh you guys look terrible like you haven't slept in days you actually look amazing for like driving for five days straight. <laughs> all right, well, can you guys just hurry up and get here, please? I'll have dinner ready for you all. Let me get Ollie. Look at there's hey. Ari. Hi, Ollie. Hi, buddy. <laughs> all right, we love you. Bye. Drive safe. Guys, we have 39 minutes to go. 39. Minutes, the longest drive ever, am I right? Yeah. Who's excited? Hey babe, why are you so frantically moving about? Oh, so I just got ball. back from the grocery store and I have a ton of you know, stuff to put away and dinner to make. And, and the McCormick's are getting here in like 20 minutes. Yes. And she got them each little gift bags because she's a sweet lady like that. And we're making them dinner and sh so that's cooking, kind of. And Jaden, what are you doing to help? Away. Thank you. Okay, well, they're almost here. They're 20 minutes out. I'm gonna, of course, because that's what I do, take my one wheel and go meet them at the end of the driveway because whenever I'm at a park and someone comes to visit, that's just a service that I offer. One wheel escort to your site. I'll tell you guys, I don't know if you feel the suspense, but I do. I'm so excited to see my friends. So excited to see my friends. When you travel this long without like your peeps and you don't get to see your peeps and your community back home, man, it's so exciting and fun when you get to see them. Let's go, let's go, wait. 
Oh my gosh, this is them. This is them. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is better than Disneyland. Yeah. They made it. They made it. They made it. Canada. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for Morses and McCormick's Party of 12 and all of the shenanigans that goes with it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.